this video I'll show you how to use the Lightorama Schedule Editor. Before we get into the Schedule Editor itself, I just want to remind you about the uh, hierarchy of things in the Lightorama, uh, Lightorama Software Suite. First of all, there are sequences, which are the things that play your m music and they tell your lights to turn on and off. And you build sequences using the Lightorama Sequence Editor. Once you have some sequences, you can put them together into shows. So a show might say, play this sequence, followed by that sequence, followed by this other sequence. You build shows using the Lightorama Show Editor. Then once you have shows, you can schedule them uh, using the Lightorama Schedule Editor, which is this program here. For example, you could use the Schedule Editor to say, I want this particular show to run from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock on Tuesday nights. So now let's say, here's the schedule editor, let's say that I have built a show, my 2012 Christmas show, and I want it to run from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day of the week. Then uh, you see the days of the week across the top here, so each column is a day. For example, this column is Wednesday, this column is Monday and the times are across here so each row is a different time so this is 2 in the morning and this is 3 in the afternoon we want it from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, you don't see that here it stops at 4 p.m. so we have to scroll down a bit and here's 5 p.m. so I'll click in an empty spot here in the 5 p.m. row and select add that opens up this add a show dialog first thing I'll do is I'll select the show that I want by pressing this button which opens up the file browser dialog. I want to play my 2012 Christmas show so I select it and then click open and uh, it says to start at 5 p.m. which is actually what I want. The reason how it, that it knew that is not coincidence it's just because when I clicked here before I clicked in the 5 p.m. row However, it says end at 6 o'clock. I don't want to end at 6 o'clock. I want to end at 9 o'clock. So I'll bump that up a bit to 9 o'clock. All of the days of the week are checked, which means this show will play during this time on every day of the week. Hypothetically, if I didn't want it to run on Wednesdays, I would uncheck Wednesday. But I do want it to run on Wednesday, so I'll check it again. Then I click Add. And now here is my show scheduled on each of the days of the week from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. It's the 2012 Christmas show. Now that I have scheduled it, I can save my schedule. And that way, if I get go out of the schedule editor and uh, later come back into it, it will these these shows will be scheduled at these times. Now let's say I later decided I don't really want it to run on Wednesdays for some reason. I, I want nothing happening on Wednesdays. So I can go to the Wednesday show and click on it and delete it. It asks, are you sure I, you want to delete this? Yes, I am sure. And now there's nothing on Wednesdays. But there's still Monday through uh, Sunday through Tuesday and uh, Thursday through Saturday. I've made a change, so it's a good habit to get into to save your changes. And uh, now let's say that um, one of the things I want to do differently is on weekends I actually want it to go from noon to 9 instead of 5 to 9. Then I can click on one of the weekend shows and edit and I'll change this from 5 p.m. to noon and then it's noon to 9 and add and now the Sunday show is from noon to 9 and similarly I can do it for the Saturday show and that's now noon to 9 as well another thing you might want to change is maybe you want different shows on different days of the week so maybe my show that I'm playing on weekends it's a little bit different than my show that I'm playing during the weekdays so I'll click on this and edit and change the show to 2012 Christmas Weekends and add and now on Saturdays the 2012 Christmas Weekends show is scheduled instead of 2012 Christmas similarly I could do the same thing on Sunday
and now it's 2012 Christmas week ends as well. Now let's say that I uh, actually want another show. Uh, there's no reason why you can only have one show per day. You can have a bunch of shows per day if you wanted to. So um, let's say that I have a show that I want to play when the sun rises. And uh, if I'm a, a good neighbor, it has no music. <laughs> if I'm a bad neighbor, maybe it has a rooster crowing. But in any case, uh, it'll have some some lights that turn on as the sun is rising. And so I'll click at 7 a.m. and add and uh, select the show that I want, which is my 2012 sunrise show. Open. Uh, the sun doesn't rise at 7. Let's say I figured out that at this time of the year in my locale, it, it actually rises at 7.37. And let's say I want the show to run for a half hour, so I'll change this to 8.07. I want it to go every day of the week, so I add. And now the sunrise show is scheduled every day of the week from 7.37 to 8.07. And the other shows are still scheduled later in the day except on Wednesday. Again, I'll save my schedule. And now one last thing you can do with the schedule editor is um, uh, if you have a show that you want to run on a specific date as opposed to a day of the week, you can do that too. And the way that you do it is go to the calendar view. And uh, today you'll see is January 5th. That, that's what this means here. I'll select um, December of 2012. Whoops, I've gone too far. Let's go back. December of 2012. On Christmas Day, I want uh, a, a special show for Christmas Day in particular. So I'll say let's run it from uh, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. And select the file which is my 2012 Christmas Day show. And now on the 25th of December of 2012, this show will play from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. No matter what is scheduled for that weekday from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. So the calendar overrides the week. If there's a conflict between the two, the show that's scheduled in the calendar wins. So I think that's about it for the Lightorama Schedule Editor. I hope this helps.